my name is Paul Giroux. I'm the manager of Forestry and Natural Areas. And we're here today at Jackson Park and we're with our certified arbor arborist contractor oh, with Urban Forest Innovations. First task usually to get the diameter of the tree. And Oliver case, is responsible for uh, completing a full it assessment a and inventory of our city trees here at Jackson Park. And everything's green and leafy. Right now we're in Could phase two thicker, of the update we'll to the inventory. Phase one of the project was to record uh, all bigger, species of trees along the right of way. So all point. those trees in front of residences have been recorded and measured for its the tree's health and safety, for its uh, ownership. One special note, uh, this one's got a plaque. So we have a tick box here for a commemorative tree. Um, for its risk assessment. And we have about 65,000 records in our tree inventory of trees along the right of way. Nine centimeters, uh, another commemorative tree. So we'll tick that box again. But now phase two of the project for the first time uh, nine centimeters. is to capture the number of tree assets that we have here in our parks. Yeah. The city of Windsor has 208 parks. And this will be the first time that we actually get this information into the inventory. Similar to the right of way, Oliver is assessing each tree for its health and safety. He's looking at the risk factor of each tree. It's basically its general well-being of the tree, but also looking at its risk. He's also looking for any pest problems. And when you're in a large park like this, where over 1,000 trees were captured, you're going to find a variety of stresses on the trees. Everything from drought stress. Back in 2017, we had a pretty serious drought. 87. Sometimes you see the impacts of that drought three years later where you start seeing uh, canopies fading. Uh, this one's got pretty severe defoliation going on. There's lots of uh, signs of gypsy moth here. Lots of egg masses. Other stressors here in the park are biological factors such as gypsy moth. Gypsy moth is a caterpillar that likes to munch the leaves of hardwoods in particular. So down here in the Essex region, they love our oak trees. We're really excited to get this information into our database because we will know how much tree planting well, opportunities much we have here in our good. parks. Structure is good, vigor is good, low risk, no broken branches, no nothing, no plaque, uh, nothing else to say. Trees and two thumbs up. And right now we're starting to get our, a better understanding of what our canopy cover here is in the city and soon we'll be unveiling what that metric is in our upcoming canopy cover assessment and our upcoming urban forestry management plan. When we have all this new information, we're excited to put it all together and paint the story of what's happening here in Windsor-Essex and how we can increase our canopy cover. While we have great trees here in Windsor-Essex, there's so much more we, we could do and we look forward to improving the canopy cover of the city.